Good morning, guys. What's up? I know, I know. I'm just like an old copper penny. You get it in your pocket and you just can't get rid of it. I know, I know. I'm here every day looking at you. Oh, well, you got nothing else to do. So, you might as well come over into my world, right? Uh, what's old Steve-O doing today? I went to Lowe's. Those backer board sheets are like, they're three feet by five feet. Um, quarter inch. Quarter inch. And this one had a damaged end here. Damaged. So, look for those. Uh, I got... I got that sheet, guys, for eight dollars. He gave me twenty percent off. He said, "Well, it's just a little damaged end." I said, "Yeah, yes, sir. You're you're absolutely correct." Um. He said, "Well, there is newer sheets back there." I said, "Well, you got to get rid of this sheet, don't you? You don't want to sit and look at this damaged sheet the rest of your life, do you?" He said, "No." I said, "Well, there you go. What kind of a break you're going to give me on the last sheet I got?" It had a pretty good chip corner on it, and they gave me 50% off. So I got the $10 sheet for 5 bucks. Anyway, this sheet, <laughs> this sheet I got for 8 bucks right here, guys. Hey, wheel and deal! You know, wheel and deal! Uh, so what am I doing? I'm whacking out some, some tops. Some tops for our two-frame nooks. Out of the backer board. And I'm boring the holes in them. I got my blower set up. This Toro blower, guys, man, this thing is... That Dewalt is kind of a joke. I mean, but this this thing here, this Toro, this dude is industrial strength here. And I really can't even... I really can't even run it full throttle. Just barely cracked. I'm just putting it on just barely going you know the slowest like setting I got and it's working and just you know it with these two fans blowing with these two fans blowing here and 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 me cantilevering this here so I don't want to cantilever too far so I bring it in a little bit here see I don't want too much spring action here you'll snap these fairly easy I don't know how well these are going to hold up. If I start getting any snappage, I'm going to put, you've got texture surface -y, um, and, and on one side. So I may, if I snap one, I'll glue it back together and then I'm going to sandwich two and give me a half inch thick lid. But I don't think I'll need to. I don't think I'll need to get that crazy. Plus so we can stretch these out further. I knocked out five yesterday afternoon. Oh uh, yeah, it was quick and easy. I didn't put too big a dent in my pile here. But I'm finding these wide ones, I, I'm going to save these wide ones just for the bottoms on these. Because here's, you know, here's what I'm doing here with the bottoms. I'm putting on here, and this is four and a half inches. So I cut them four and a half inches, and I, and I also put a cleat on. So what I did, I, I put the board on, took my brad nailer and pinned it. Then I went down and pinned it here on both sides. This wood is thin. These pallet woods are thin, so I got real close to the edge here. You see I put one here, I put one here, one here. One here, one here. I put two on the ends. And I, before I put these in, I put my cleat wood on. I just cut a width, you know, narrow strip, four, four and a half inches. And I pinned it. Then I came in here with a pilot, two here, two there. That's all I did for the bottom. Put the screen on the bottom. You saw that yesterday. So yeah, these, these little guys came out nice. I'm liking this. Got a little daylight in there. No big deal. No big deal. The bees to seal that right up. 
any big knot holes you got fill up check the ends make sure you don't got any big big holes here in these in these in these ends if you do before you paint before you paint shove wad up a little piece of paper towel and shove it in with a an awl or something into the hole and then you paint over that paper towel and it'll seal that hole up real quick and easy for you yeah these are going to be nice nooks uh, I'm gonna paint these probably I'm gonna mix colors I got a bunch of flavors over there I got some I got some white yesterday evening I set up my dip tank and you'll see this has got kind of a gray patina look to it these two buys were really blonde colored but I dipped this whole box in and painted it up with tall earth eco-friendly wood preservative and then I let it set out on the slab uh, until evening and then I brought them in here I didn't want the morning dew getting on these boxes so I set them here overnight but they were basically baked out out there in that sun it was just torrential uh, heat out there it just cooked cooked them boxes they were dry as a bone these things were dry as a bone you know, all these little nail holes guys don't worry about them you're gonna when you slop that paint on slop it on thick you can see daylight right through a lot of these holes slop it on thick these these real small cracks here they will get filled see i can see daylight right through there on that one through the screen hole i can see daylight but i'm gonna you smear on the paint thick so yeah i'm gonna paint them up just one coat because you've already got a preservative on there i like to put that tall earth preservative on everything i do and uh, the last thing I'll do, of course, is put our plastic disc on. And to put that on, to put that thing on, all I do with that, I just punch these holes. I punch these holes, guys, this 7 8 hole. I look over here, make sure I'm not going to hit, because you can, that two inch screws come in, it comes close to that, and if you hit that screw, you're going to damage, you're going to, you're going to destroy that paddle blade. So keep that in mind when you're punching these holes through. It doesn't really matter on here where you put it. You could put that freaking hole way up here if you wanted to, but that's not good. It's in the way of your handle and all. You put it down here, just get, keep away from the nails, but all I do is drill the hole, then I center that. And then I take my awl. I don't drill a, I don't drill an eighth inch hole here. I just stick this on and tap it so I got a mark. Then I move it aside. And then I wrap it in about that deep. Then wiggle it out. I don't pilot them. Just use an awl. That works great. Simple, simple stuff, guys. All right. Let me finish these. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna finish these up. Then I'm gonna paint them. I'm gonna paint these boxes. I'm gonna leave them right here on the bench and let them dry with the fans blowing on them. Uh, by the end of the day, I will be able to move them to the to the back in inventory. Uh, I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint everything on the top side here. I'm not painting anything on the bottom. In other words, the paint will come down to here and down to here. I'm not painting nothing down here. No need to. Paint the side. These are dipped and taller. Yeah. So anyway, I called my, uh, got a queen breeder north of me. He's a commercial beekeeper. And I asked him if he had any cells. Because these things are going to be nice for putting a frame in with bees and, and and try to get a frame that's about all seal brood that's trying to emerge would be nice with a little rim of honey a little pollen you know a multi frame and then a plain frame will go in just two frames going in there and he did not have cells or virgins but he does have mated queens so I'm gonna pick up probably five from him five mated queens from here in a few days just as soon as I get 
just as soon as I get these boxes finished up, I'll give him a shout. And if he can get me uh, assembled up five mated queens. He pretty much runs, I think, Italian. All Italian. Golden Italians. So I'll get some new bloodline coming in to my operation. Let me, uh, let me cut a couple of these here. Cut a couple of these so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to turn my blower on. guys I said I got about eight of them here I'll whack the rest of the sheet up later on I've got to get this painting knocked out let's just stuff be fine but I got plenty here ahead of, ahead of the game uh, you get a little raggedy edge here it's got like a paper on it just just cleans right off the with the scriber tool you're getting some of these with a little raggedy edge me no care i don't care this is kind of a brittle tool here you see that scriber it's a piece of carbide on there and they welded it in right there they welded it on both sides there and i accidentally dropped it on the floor and, and it broke off that whole it's very brittle this tool broke off that whole piece there this thing's still cutting good. I've cut a ton of stuff with it. And that one scriber is what I got left. And it seems to be doing fine. But they're not, these things aren't cheap. I think it was, I think it was $8 and change is all for that. Okay, guys. I'll let you go for today. That's all for today. I'll keep you posted and we'll load up, hopefully load up these girls these boxes with some nice fresh Italian baby girls.
See you soon. Be happy, be strong. We gotta keep getting it on. See you.